friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the second ever video in my WW Vegetarian series. This recipe is so incredibly delicious. It, it is comfort food, it is indulgent, it is amazing, and it is vegetarian. So if you wanna see what I have in store for you for another WW Vegetarian meal, then just keep watching. For tonight's dinner, we are making broccoli cheddar pot pies. These sound so good. So first you're going to need some little ramekins to cook your pot pie in. Now you can cook it in a larger pan and just cut it into four servings, but it's just a little bit easier for portion control if you cook it in an individual ramekin. So I have four of those. You'll also need some low fat milk or you can even use almond milk or a milk alternative, but I'm gonna do Fairlife fat-free milk. Non-stick cooking spray flour, salt and pepper, and the original recipe called for cayenne pepper. I don't even have that. It's I'm definitely not a big spice, spicy food person. So I'm gonna sub the cayenne for Dax Original Red. I love Dax. This one does have a little bit of a kick, definitely not as spicy as cayenne, but Dax is amazing. It is zero salt, all natural, no MSG, nothing artificial. So it's great before weigh-in because it does not cause you to retain water, but it is packed with flavor. I mean, amazing, so incredibly delicious. So this particular one, the original red, and this is a good sub for any type of cayenne pepper. This one has dehydrated garlic, paprika, spices, dehydrated onion, mustard, and then just a little bit of anti-caking agent. So I love Dax. If you're interested in picking them up, they have over 20 spices. You can use my code here on the screen and you'll receive 10% off and free shipping. So I highly recommend Dax spices. I have them all and I love them all. So we're gonna be using the original red. We're gonna do a mix of fat-free cheese and Trader Joe's organic mozzarella cheese. That just kind of helps cut down on the points. You'll also need some puff pastry sheets an egg, and lastly, a huge, ginormous bag of broccoli. So let's get started on tonight's dinner. So the first thing that we're gonna do to get started on our pot pies is we are going to put one cup of our Fairlife or our skim milk into a large pan. Make sure you're using, using a large pan because we are gonna be adding in our broccoli and everything as well. And then we're gonna put in three tablespoons of flour, and we wanna just let this cook down, whisk it, constantly until it has starting to thicken and then we're going to add in our cheese and our spices once your flour and milk mixture are nice and thick and it is thick we are going to go ahead and add in our cheese so i have four ounces total two ounces of fat free and one or two ounces of mozzarella now it the recipe says that this is going to be really thick which it is but once we add in the broccoli it will help thin it out so i'm just going to whisk this until the cheese is nice and melted and we'll add in our broccoli after your cheese has melted we are going to add in broccoli and broccoli and more broccoli so we want about four cups of broccoli i steamed the entire bag that I showed you. I'm probably not going to add it all in, but I'm gonna put about four cups worth of broccoli, give it a quick stir, and then we'll add in some seasonings. Once you've mixed in your broccoli, I added some salt and pepper, and we're gonna add in the star of the show, our Dax. Give this another quick stir, and then we're ready to assemble our ramekins. Take your sheet of puffed pastry, and we're just going to cut, cut it with a pizza cutter into four equal sections. This is what is going to top our little pot pie. So just make sure it's nice and cut into four. And then you also want to cut a little X in the top, which then helps it vent. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut a little X and then we'll be ready to get our ramekins filled with our broccoli and cheese. So pastry shell is ready. So we're gonna spray our ramekins really good with nonstick cooking spray. And then to that, we have our delicious broccoli and cheese mixture. And we're just going to divide that evenly amongst the four little ramekins. And then we'll top it with our puffed pastry shell. You guys, this looks amazing. I'm so excited for this. You have no idea. So we'll get these nice and filled and then we'll add our pastry.
look at how good this looks you guys yum and then all we are going to do is take our sheet of puffed pastry we are going to pop it over the top here of our ramekin i'm just going to go ahead and kind of push the ends of it into the ramekin dish and then again we did cut that little slit in the top and of course that will help it vent but look at that yum so let's get these done and then we'll add some egg wash to the top to get them nice and browned in the oven look at how cute these are with our puffed pastry so the last step is is we're going to take an egg here and i did just kind of whisk it with a fork and we're just going to do a nice egg wash on top of our puffed pastry and that will just give it that nice browning in the oven and these are going to go in the oven at 425 degrees for about 20 minutes now of course the time is going to vary on your oven but just until the pastry is nice and brown and that broccoli mixture is warmed through so i'll be back in a flash to show you our completed broccoli ch broccoli cheddar pot pies look at these is it not the most beautiful sight you've ever seen? These are gorgeous. These look incredible. So I just got them out of the oven. I'm going to let them cool. The cheesy goodness is flowing. So we'll let these cool. I'll plate it up and I will give you the smart points. So here it is in all of its glory. Look at this. Yum. So this is our broccoli cheddar vegetarian pot pie. It looks absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to eat it yum so this pot pie is a total of six smart points so if you are not vegetarian and you still want to make this meal you can always pair it with some chicken for zero points and you would have a six smart point dinner so this looks amazing i cannot wait to dig in thank you for joining me on another episode in my ww vegetarian series what did you guys think of this recipe it was so good so good in fact my husband ate two so incredibly delicious. Now I will be having some vegan, some paleo, some plant-based, all sorts of amazing recipes that fall under the plant-based vegetarian type of meals on this series. So I'm really excited to share those with you. A lot of you have asked me for them, so I am here to deliver your request. So if you're new to my channel, I would like to extend a huge warm welcome. Make sure you subscribe, hit that little bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thumbs up this one and comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this recipe and are you going to give it a try? I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.